What's going on guys? We just landed in Dusseldorf, Germany and for those of you who haven't seen our recent update video, we're currently starting the Sao Paulo 4 Euro Tour. We're going from Germany to Switzerland, Italy and finishing up at Monaco. We'll be seeing multiple YouTubers along the way, I'm sure. I know the getaway are for certain, Tim from Shmi150. And I went on Gumball the other year, I did some stuff with Tim earlier this year, but this is the first time we actually did a trip of this length. So it's going to be really, really fun. We have a ton of cool stops along the way. It's a little bit colder than I expected it to be. It's around 40 degrees, so good thing I, I packed a little bit warm. It's a little bit rainy today, unexpected weather and stuff, but it's going to be awesome. Um, but I wanted to introduce Mark. He's the business, business manager for Shmi 150, and he's basically been the brains behind this operation, getting everything worked out. Uh, Crystal, who's my wife, holding the camera right now, she's also been a big help with all of this, so it's going to be awesome. So let me go ahead and introduce you guys to the car that we rented. A BMW 6 Series Grand Coupe. A little tight. So upon careful examination, this is actually a 640D. So not only being a diesel 6 Series, this will be the first diesel BMW I've ever driven. So pretty excited. Everywhere in the world. Alright, so if you can't hear it, it's absolutely pouring down rain right now. So we're killing a little bit of time before we head on over to Pace, Germany. We're still in Dusseldorf um, at Classic Remise, checking out some of the amazing selection of classics and exotics they have here. A lot of stuff I've never heard of, never seen before. And I just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick tour of some of the unique things around here and how it all works. It's just a fascinating concept. So without further ado, let's get started. So I've actually never been to a place like this before, and I'll I'll take you guys on a walkthrough and some of the cool cars that I've seen. Um, but it, it's really amazing. The kind of the way I understand it is, this place combines a lot of different things that kind of revolves around the automotive world. I guess from dealerships to insurance companies, rental companies, classic car rentals, sales, all that kind of stuff. Owners can actually rent these pods as well. So. Um, you can open the door, put your car up inside, pay the rental fee, store it up there. Everything kind of moves all over the place and lowers and whatnot. So there's a lot of really, really, really special cars all in these glass encased things just for everybody's viewing pleasure. I mean, it's awesome. So starting about right here, it wraps all the way around with the various offices and whatnot. And you step into the main area, again, sectioned off for different organizations that sell things and stuff like this place right here um, but god I mean, just look at the site there's so many rare cars that I've, I've never seen never heard of I don't even know how to explain them all they're just amazing <laughs> so without me just rambling on and stuff let me show you around Amongst all the Porsches, Ferraris, Mercedes, and all that, you have a few American cars poking out here and there. There's a really nice old Cadillac, and it looks like a Ford Galaxy Mustang down there. Another mid-60s Mustang convertible. Of course, probably one of the most beautiful cars here is the E-Type. V12 from Roadster. It's just something about it, a timeless style. Ooh, check this out, Mini Cooper S. I know, there's just something about the older ones. They look so cool. And they're so much smaller, even than the R53s in the early 2000s. Little fender flares, good wide stance. Awesome looking. Beautiful.
E30 M3 convertible. Here's something you all see every day. A couple of Porsche tractors. Never knew they made tractors. Not a bad collection of early Lamborghinis right here. Stunning. I especially like this, this Spada. I don't know. I'm a big car fan. This is just so freaking cool. I mean, it's huge in person. It's got NACA ducks on the hood. Low, extremely wide. It kind of reminds me of a shooting brake. I'm not too familiar with that as we don't get shooting brakes in the United States, but there is so much glass on this thing. Big rear window, extra down there for better visibility, I suppose. I've never seen quite so many classic Mercedes in one location. I mean, a lot of these I've never even heard of personally, but my gosh, they're, they're beautiful. Such presence. Elegant lines, just very simple. Well guys, we had an amazing first day. We went out to Pace, Germany and checked out the Porsche 918 Spider, filmed the Koenigsegg Aguera and uh, Maserati MC12 and even got a really, really awesome cold start video of a Lamborghini Countach. It was sick. <laughs> but we had an awesome time here. Everybody was so nice and accommodating, so big thanks to Pace Germany. All of their contact information can be found in the description box below, so be sure to check them out. They're actually in the process of moving to a new facility right now, so that's why the showroom is a little bit bare up here. So it's definitely going to be pretty awesome to see, and I look forward to hopefully visiting them sometime in the near future. Future. So tomorrow we're going to head on over to Brabus. I'm really, really excited about that. Check out the factory, check out a few cars there. It's going to be awesome, so be sure to stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching and following our little vlog series. There's a whole lot more stuff where that came from. Take care, guys.